how to tell if someone is lying, how to spot a liar. Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek and welcome to my channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Let's talk about five ways how to spot a liar. Let's start. The first way how to spot a liar is by body language. So when person is talking to you, uh, pay attention to his body language. And there are a lot of videos on YouTube, a lot of books about body language. And uh, it's gonna be very good if you can do some research and learn some techniques. But the general rule, is it an open body position or is it a closed body position? So, uh, is the person is covering his face or covering his body or maybe uh, crossing his arms or crossing his legs or maybe standing a little bit on the side from you or maybe the person is using some objects to kind of cover himself, maybe a cell phone, maybe a purse or something else. So is it an opening, welcoming, trusting position or if it's, is it a closed position? Uh, we can read the intonation, we can read emotions, we can read gestures. And this ability uh, is within us, it's like our instinct. So sometimes you don't know how, but you know that there is something is missing when the person is talking and you feel like, you know, it's too good to be true or something is wrong. Like, I'm not sure why, but there is something is uh, not right. So basically, when we hear the information, we accept it logically and evaluate it uh, in logical way and also we read the uh, appearance we read the intonation the speed the emotions uh, gestures and when uh, two systems are in conflict then 99 percent chance that the person is lying to you so body language is the first way to spot a liar the second way is signs of the stress. So the first and the obvious one is sweat. So if the person is sweating or turning red or nervous or doing some movements like something like this, moving his uh, pen or uh, moving rings for girls or what watches for guys or constantly checking his cell phone, uh, so this is all signs of stress and when the person is lying Very often he is gonna be under stress. So if you notice some signs of stress, then this is a uh, Red signal for you. He might be lying The third way how to spot a liar is ask him to repeat his story or some part of his story You can say something like so when this happened where exactly uh, did you go? or what exactly did you say or what exactly did he said and or what did you reply so ask him some specific small questions and then look for the signs of stress body language and see if the person can be consistent with his story the fourth way to spot a liar is look for an attacking behavior so when you're asking a person did you take my money if the person is saying, how could you even think that about me? How could you even say this? I am not such kind of a person. So when this person is attacking you, instead of saying yes or no, instead of answering your question, he or she is attacking you, then probably this person is trying to cover his life. So attacking behavior usually, usually equals life. And the fifth way how to spot a liar is to pay attention if the person is trying to change the subject or not. So basically when you're talking to a person and you ask him something and he's saying yes, no, some short answer or attacking behavior saying how could you even think that about me? And then immediately changing the subject, saying something like, by the way, did you call your mom? She tried to reach you twice. Or by the way, did you spoke to Jane because you promised her to do this, blah, blah, blah. Or he can say, by the way, I have to go. Or maybe the person is immediately taking his phone out of his pocket and saying, wow, did you hear about this news everyone is talking about? So changing the subject is a big, big chance of a life. 
And another way how the person can change a subject, he might actually ignore you. So when you're asking a question, the person might pretend that he did not hear you and then start talking about something else, something different. So ignoring plus changing the subject, 99% of the chance that the person is lying. Let's summarize. Body language number one. Look for the signs of stress number two. Ask the person to repeat the story or ask specific questions and see if the person is consistent with his story. This was number three. Number four is uh, look for the attacking behavior. And number five, if the person is ignoring your question or trying to change the subject. Five red flags in the relationship. Five red flags in dating. How do you know if that person is right for you? How can you learn more about the person? Should you invest your time, your effort to this relationship or not? The link will be below this video. Please share this video with your friends on your Facebook, Twitter, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.